forever. Come and help now.
welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good because I'm doing amazing, okay? You guys, please subscribe to my channel. I feel like a lot of you are, a lot of you watch me, but you don't, it's nothing that I feel. A lot of you actually watch me, but you're not subscribed to my channel. Um, yeah, my algorithm, what do they call it? <laughs> analytics. My analytics, my YouTube analytics shows that at least 49% of people who watch me are not subscribed. Why? What did I do? So please, um, subscribe to my channel. If you if you think you're subscribed, check, okay? Because sometimes, some people might feel like they're subscribed to a particular YouTuber, but when you now check, you now see that the person just pops up because you always watch them, not because you're actually subscribed to their channel, okay? So please, I take God beg you in the name of Jesus. Please help me subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you, and tell your friend to tell your friend. Imagine if all of you tell at least one person to subscribe, like, uh -uh, my numbers will just skyrocket. <laughs> Yeah, today is two days after I went to the market for bulk shopping. Um, the next day after I came back, I had to redo my store. Um, actually, it has been a, a while since I've tried to redo my store, but like to fix some things in the store, I did everything yesterday. And that's because the last time I did a store makeover, I actually put in supermarket shelves, but I think I had grown those supermarket shelves. Like they were not containing everything I wanted to, I wanted to put in the store. And I was like, why not? Since we're renovating the house and we're doing things around the house, I might as well just, you know, redo the store at once. Especially since some people were already spending money. So I was just like, okay, since we're already spending money redoing the house, I might as well check in the store so that we'll redo the store as well. So yeah, so my husband got a carpenter for me and, you know, paid the guy and all that. So the guy was able to design, put like shelves in the store, proper shelves this time. So yeah, I have my store done, okay? So I was able to arrange things inside the store and you know just fix everything up and make everywhere look nice and clean and another thing that you know having proper shelves in the store did for me is that everything now has a place so anything that does not fit into that store seamlessly it has to go okay it's going to, we're gonna boot it out okay so and now i'm even more conscious about what i put inside the store i'm now more conscious i'm now making sure that i don't just put things that I don't just buy things or bring things in that don't fit or that will not look good with the other things. So I'm now more cautious, okay? I'm satisfied with how the store looks as of right now. And, you know, I'm happy about it. I'm grateful to God and my husband for making it happen for me, okay? <laughs> uh, but yeah, but let me tell you guys something there. When you move into a house, okay, whether it is your own house, well, especially if it is your own house, right? But even if it's a rented apartment, if you have the money, eh? The year that you move in, go ahead and do everything you need to do to make the house conducive for you, okay? If you have the money and if the house is okay, like you, is a house you are, you are comfortable with, okay? Because it's one thing if you enter a house and you don't like it and you want to move out immediately. And it's another thing, you know, to say, okay, I like this house, I want to stay here. Just go ahead and do all the renovations and all the decorations and all the things that you want to do in that house. Go ahead and do it. I think the fact that we always consider that it is someone else's house is what stops a lot of people. Because when I do some renos or I show some people some parts of my house, they're like, ah, rented apartment. Why put not this one in a rented apartment? And I'm like, I'm the one living here. Like, the landlord does not live here. I think I said this in the video before, Sha. Like, I'm the one living here. I need to make things comfort comfortable for me, okay? If I'm able to enjoy those things for one or two years, then it's fine. Like, and the funny part is that that's what we always say just one or two years we we normally stay more than one or two years like i've not been in any house that i stayed less than the first house we were living in we stayed in that house for eight years this is the second house that we're living in now and we've like joke like joke we've been here for four years like joke like joke okay so at the end of the day if you if you move into a new house and you're okay with the house especially when you are more established like you have a family and the house is okay for you as a family then go ahead and do what you have to do. If for some reason tomorrow now I hammer and maybe I decide to build my own house or I decide to move into a bigger house, who cares about what I spent in the former house making myself comfortable? I will spend more in the next house making myself comfortable. Okay, like that's my reasoning, reasoning for things now. I know that part of the reason why I didn't do some things when I moved in here because I've always had that mindset of, you know, making things nice. But I think part of the reason why I did not do so many things when I moved into this house was because of the fact that I did not have the money then and my husband did not have the money then as well so it was just like we're just trying to not manage but we're trying to just you know be sure of how things are before we start spending so much money doing things however if i really think about it we actually to the best of our ability at that time we made the house as comfortable as it could be okay one thing my husband does not joke with is you see pa 
You see pa, you see battery, solar panel, inverter, uh, nepa bill, nepa light, all those things. Once it comes to power in the house, my husband does not joke with it. Like when we first moved into this house, that's one of the first things he just did. Like put solar panels, put inverter, put in more solar panels, okay? Put inverter, did everything well. So, you know, we never have light issues. What else did he even do, Seth? You know, yeah, so at the end of the day, if you're if you move into a house, you know, whether rented apartment or your own house. I know it's easier to do when you're in your own house, okay, but even if it's a rented apartment, as long as that thing makes you comfortable at that time, then go ahead and do it. Because at the end of the day, almost everything that we do in this house, you can actually move with it. Like there's really nothing that is palm as aside paint, which of course we don't go paint house because uh, it's not your house. We don't go paint house. But aside painting, aside some fixes here and there, you know, there's really nothing that we've done. In this house that you say oh ah but if i if the let's say now my landlord says that my landlord comes today and says we should no longer live here i don't think it's anything i'll be like ha after i finish doing this they're not telling me to, they're not telling me to go no because i did it for my own comfort at that time i've enjoyed it however long that i enjoyed it and that's it okay that's what i said towards it anyway but yeah that's the reason why i was able to just redo my store and redo everything but Okay, I've already showed you guys. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this video. Did I show you guys first? I right, insert clips while I'm talking. But yeah, how you guys doing? This is just a chill day. Uh, my kids are playing with their friends. Um, they're all downstairs. They're all having fun. Me, I'm about to actually lie down and sleep. That's my dream. <laughs> my goal is to lie down and sleep. Um, it's funny how I started YouTube. I started, I started, I used to make my sit down videos by sitting down here and talking to you guys. Then I got an office. No, first of all, I got a different space. Then later on, I got my office. But right now, I'm back to sitting down here. I feel like in more of my recent videos, I have been sitting down on my bed and talking to you guys. I don't know why, but yeah, it's just the comfort of it all. You guys, my birthday is coming. My birthday is on the 15th of August. And so far, I have no plans, not even one single plan. My husband is supposed to come back like a day or two before my birthday, but we're not sure. Um, I don't know why. And I'm supposed to be 35 this year. Me, in my head, beginning of the year, I was thinking, ah, 35 this year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... Oh, my neighbors have on Jen. Anyway, I was thinking, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to travel. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do that. First of all, the travel one, it did not even work out. It won't have even been on my birthday anyway, but it didn't work out. Then... I just lost interest like and you know okay another thing there i'm going to do, make a video about you know things i've learned in my i think i've done a video about this before but anyway just talking about more life lessons that i've learned at this my big age okay my big age of 35 oh this is noise anyway hey you are going to hear this noise anyway maybe in a different video i will talk about what i want to talk about however I've done a lot of self-reflecting in the past few days and I have realized that I'm not as I don't care as I thought I would be in my 30s. And I've told myself that I need to, I need to transcend the level of I don't careness that I am in now. I, want, I need to get to a, a higher level of I don't careness, okay? For instance, I noticed that in my personal life, I do a lot of things. I consider people when I'm doing a lot of things, even when it inconveniences me, I still consider people. It has reduced from when I was younger, I used to be a people pleaser, okay? It has reduced from when I was younger, however, it has not gotten to the level where I wanted to get to. I want to get to a level where I will not, like how do I put it now? I'm not saying I won't be nice to people, I won't do things, you know, I won't, be, I won't be a nice person or whatever. I'm just saying that there are some things that I should tell myself if, if this thing does not benefit anybody, like, I'm not just, anyway, I'll talk about it in a different video, okay? But yeah, that's it, guys. That is it with my store and stocking up the house. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be locking that store. Maybe I would. But I really don't see any reason why I should. But maybe I would. My reasoning behind this before was that, oh, anything I bring out from the store and give them in the kitchen, they should be able to use it for, you know, the duration. Let's say I bring out milk and I say this milk is for one week. They should be able to use it for one week. But the truth is that it doesn't change anything. If I bring out the, the milk and lock the store, if this is in three days, I will still go back there and go and bring out another milk. So, except I'm going to keep the milk and be 
dishing it out myself. When it's time for food, everybody bring up it. I put your milk for you. When it's time for this, I, and I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of energy. Like, it's not going to be me, okay? But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comment section why you have not subscribed to my channel. Just tell me. Tell me the truth. I'm not subscribed to you because this, that, this, that, this. Let me know, okay? I promise not to delete any comment I don't like. I promise to just read it and be like, okay, no wahala, and I change if I have to change, okay? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.